This tutorial will cover how to create a template for a specific property with the due diligence product. Each property and spec will be slightly different and PDSpec gives you the tools necessary to be prepared ahead of time for any type of property you may be inspecting. Many clients like to take the information they find out ahead of time about a property and use it to create a specific template for when they inspect a property. This makes conducting the inspection simpler and allows you to collect the exact information you need. And so the first step is to open up PDSpec and then open up Inspection Designer. Once Designer is open, we want to go to Open so we can open up the template that we're going to be making changes to. And so we're going to start with the Due Diligence Room by Room template. So we'll select it and then we'll click on OK. Now that our template's open, we now want to give this template a new name so that we don't overwrite the original template that we started with. And so to do this, we're going to go up to File, and then Save As. And this brings up the Save window. And so let's say that the property that we're setting up a file for is called Sudden Valley. So we're going to call this template Sudden Valley. So we'll type that in to the file name. And we'll also type that into the template name. Now that that's set up how we want, we'll go ahead and click on OK. So the first change we actually want to make to this template is we want to remove the washer and dryer lines because we know that none of the units have a washer or dryer. And so to do this, we're going to go to our living area category over here on the left, and we're going to navigate down to where our washer and dryer lines are. And so we'll click on the plus sign here in the living area, and now we see them listed here. And so to remove them, all we have to do is just right click on the line and simply select delete line. And when we do this, a message will pop up that says, are you sure you want to delete this line? We'll click on yes, and now the washer line is gone. We'll do the same thing for the dryer. We'll select delete line, yes we're sure, and perfect. Those two lines have now been removed. The rest of the information in our living area category is set up the way we want. So now what we want to do is we want to set up our specific living area types so that they have the proper number of bedrooms and bathrooms in each one. And so to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the living area category on the left and we're going to select copy. Now we're just going to right click right on there again, we're going to select paste. And we're going to paste in the exact number of different living area types we want to set up. And so we want to set up one for a one by one, a two by one, and then a two by two. So we're going to paste in one more. Perfect. We now have three living areas to work with. So now that our three living areas are added in, what we need to do is we want to rename them so that way we can give the proper names of one by one, two by one, and two by two. And to rename a category, we'll select the one we want to rename. So we'll start with the first one, and then we'll come right over here to this little icon here, and we'll click on it to pull up the category properties. And for the name, we'll simply change this to one by one. And now we'll click on OK. Here, a message will pop up and we'll simply select no. And as you can see, our category is now called one by one. For our second living area, we'll do the same thing and we'll name this two by one. And we'll finally, we'll do it for the third one and we'll call this two by two. Perfect. We now have our three living area types set up and we can now start going in and making changes to them. Let's get started with the one by one living area. So we'll click on that to select it. And so first off, we know that the one by one only has one bedroom and one bathroom in it. So let's go ahead and get those added in. So down here in the input area, we see we have a button for add another bedroom and add, add another bathroom. So let's click on the add another bedroom. So we added in our first bedroom and we'll do the same thing for add another bathroom. And as you can see, our bathroom has been added in. Now that we've added in the bedroom and the bathroom that we need, the next step is we can actually go ahead and remove out this option for add another bedroom and add another bathroom since we won't need those anymore. And to do that, we're actually going to come up top here to our work area and we're going to navigate down to where we can see the lines for these types. So let's we'll keep going right here and perfect. And so what these are called is they're called component placeholders. 
And so right here, we've located a component placeholder for bathroom, and we don't need this anymore. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the dot on the left of the line, and then we'll click on delete component placeholder. Are you sure you want to delete this line? We'll click on yes, and as you can see, it's now been removed. And if we scroll down just a little bit more, we'll see the same thing for bedroom. So we'll right click on this for bedroom, and we'll select delete component placeholder. Are you sure? Yep. And now that's been removed. So perfect. So at this point, we've added in the one bathroom and the one bedroom we need, and we removed the ability to add in more since we know we won't need more with this type of unit. Now the last edit we want to make to this one by one unit is we want to remove the microwave line because we know that these units don't come with microwaves. And so to do this, we're going to navigate and find the microwave line. And we'll do this up here in the work area. So we'll look for appliances. And right here, we have our microwave line. And we can delete this out by simply right clicking on that circle again. And then we'll click on delete. And then we'll click on yes. And now we've removed it. And so here in appliances, microwave is no longer there. So at this point, we're now done editing the one by one. And let's go ahead and move to the two by one. Just like before, the first change that we want to make here is we want to add in that exact number of bedrooms and bathrooms that we need. And so again, to do that, we'll come here. We're going to add in, add another bedroom. So we added in our first one, and we'll click on it again to add in our second one. We'll add in our one bathroom. So that's added in. So we have one bathroom, and then our two bedrooms. And then we'll come up top here, and we'll, we'll locate those component placeholders and we'll delete those out. So there's the bathroom one, and we'll find our bedroom one, and now that's been removed. So for the two by one, it has the number of bedrooms and bathrooms we need. We still have the microwave there, but that's okay, because we know what this, this type of unit on this property, those actually come with microwaves, so we're gonna keep it there. So that's set up, and now the last one we wanna go to is our two by two. So again, with our two by two, we're gonna have two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So we'll add those in. We'll add in our bathrooms. We'll delete out our placeholder lines. So that's the bathroom. And here we come to our bedroom. We'll delete that out. But let's say there's also another change. Let's say in all of our two by twos, they come with an extra appliance. They come with a coffee maker, as an example. And so instead of taking out something, we want to add something in. And so we're going to scroll up here in our work area, and we'll find our appliance, kitchen appliances. And to add in a new line, it's actually very simple. All we have to do is just copy and then paste an existing line that works the way we want the new one to, and then rename it. So we'll take this microwave line, and we're going to right click on it and select copy. And then we'll right click again, and then we'll select paste. So we have microwave twice, and you can see that up here in the work area. You can also see it down here in the preview area. And to rename it, we'll just click on the properties for the second one, and we'll just change the prompt to, we'll say coffee maker. Once you have it set up the way you want, you'll click on OK, and now the two by two is set up. And what we've just done, is great because what's going to happen is when we start a new inspection, any unit that we set up as a one by one will have the one bedroom, one bathroom, but it won't have a microwave. Any unit that's the two by one will have your two bedrooms on your one bathroom. And then your two by twos will have the two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and they'll have this additional coffee maker line. And of course, if there are other differences or a lot of differences between the different types of units, you would simply just follow the same steps we looked at here to set all of those up. So we now have our customized templates set up for the Sudden Valley property. And so the final step is to save this. So we'll click on save. And now we can actually close out a designer. Because the last thing we need to do is we need to open up our inspection setup file. And we need to set this up to work with the Sudden Valley. And to do that, we're going to come here to instructions. And the biggest thing you need to change is you need to enter the new template name here. So instead of calling this due diligence to R14, we'll just change this to the name of the template. And of course, with this template, we named it Sudden Valley. Now that that's set up, we'll go to setup. And here, the only difference you'll be doing 
is for the unit type, instead of using that generic living area like we had before, you actually plug in the type of unit it is. And so here you would call this a one by one. So let's say unit number 101 was a one by one. So we plug that in. And let's say 102 is a two by two. So we would call that two by two. And 103 was a two by one and a two by one. And so it'll happen is when you click on start a new inspection right here, it'll start the file in PD spec. You'll be able to open it up and it'll have each of those units automatically added in just like it always does, but they'll be customized with a specific checklist that you set up for the type of unit that it is. This concludes the tutorial on customizing a template to a property.